Welcome back to Otto's Garage. Well, we're at it once again. Uh, I've just spent probably three to four hours uh, doing the flatting off of the primer shell. Um, so what I'm doing now is going to uh, get inside it, tip it up and just give it a bit of degreasing and uh, go over it with a tack cloth. And then we're going to mix up some white paint and we're going to blast it on. So hopefully we'll have a white car in a few hours time. Let's see how we go. Right, that's the um, uh, 210 Bianco. Uh, it's got a slightly blue tinge to it, but obviously uh, that needs a bit of a mix-up before we get out. Uh, we'll add the 2K hardener, and in this instance, the top coat, we're having two parts of the uh, paint to one part of the hardener. And then uh, I'm going to go with about 20% of the, um, uh, the 2K thinner in there as well, just to try and eliminate some of that um, uh, orange peel we had before. A uh, little top's great, all graduated, so we're going two parts of paint, one part of hardener, and then you've got the 30% mark, the 20% and the 10% mark down the side on the thinners. We'll go with 20 on this one, just see how we are. I've also got a little tub on the side here, which um, between mixes, we strip off the, uh, the, the top of the gun, basically, the nozzles, and just drop that into that, let that dissolve all the rubbish out of it. And then uh, that will hopefully eliminate any, um, any splattering off the end of the gun when she's being sprayed. So it's imperative that you try and keep all this gear clean each time. Uh, that's the cup that goes on top of the gun, basically. And then, uh, yeah, we'll drop that in there. We'll give her a mix up. I've just got a, a jog here with some thinners in it. That's old thinners that's come out of this tray each time. And that's great for just cleaning down the tools uh, and making sure you don't get any contamination of dirty thinners back into the clean gun afterwards. Okay, let's give her a mix and see how we go. Well, there it is. Uh, the workshop's getting warmed up nicely now. I've uh, just got a blower on there for the moment. Um, I've flat it all off and I'm just going to get the tack cloth over it now, get it all cleaned off and then uh, we should be ready for a bit of white paint. So let's see uh, what happens next. Uh, again, I'm by myself here so I can't give you any footage as I'm filming. So um, what I'll have to do is just uh, get some uh, video in between the different coats that we're putting on. Okay, let's get on with it. Well, that's the first coat on, on the underside of the car. She's now white. So, uh, we've got it all sprayed now. Um, it's been standing here now for probably about 48, maybe about 60 hours. Um, it's recommended that if we can get another coat on within 72, then we haven't got to do so much massive preparation work with regard to keying off the surface. So, uh, however, what I have found is that um, during the process, and I don't know whether you can see it at all there, um, she has got a little bit of peel on it. You can kind of just see that. Um, and uh, the other thing that it has done is it has picked up a couple of flecks of dust and stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a very light sanding over and I have just been over here with just some 400 and that's just taken out some of that um, and then uh, we'll go over the whole of the roof etc as well because again we have got a little bit of peel occurring you can just see that in that re reflection over there um, 
but what I'll do is I'll give that a little bit of a flat over and then I'm going to give it another coat um, and then we'll just see where we are with that. But I mean, generally speaking, I'm very pleased with how it has come out. Um, you know, especially things like the, the rear arches and stuff like that. The blending works done really nicely on that, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, and uh, most of the cage has come out very well as well. But there are certain areas where we've just got to get inside, you know, the backside of some of these... Um, tubes where I've perhaps not got as much paint on as I'd like to do. So it does need another coat. So I'll get over it, give it a flat off, and then we'll get some more paint on there and see how she looks afterwards. So with it being Christmas, I managed to bag myself a Audi S1 Lego model, and that's pretty cool. So that's going to take a bit of making. That should be pretty good. But on the other side of the coin, a bit more serious, check this out. This is a anodized handbrake. So it's uh, aluminium. Uh, happy days on that one i'm really quite impressed with that it comes with its own uh, master cylinder and the mounting bracket that goes onto the transmission tunnel obviously a uh, little rose joint in there so that's a nice bit of kit just to be having uh so i should be able to get that fitted sometime in the new year all being well good stuff i've just wet the floor so that's going to um, help to stop the uh, dust from just lifting on it when we spray it um, and I'm just going to mix up a bit of uh, bit of paint and get in there and just see if we can catch some of the areas that I missed before I flatted off the uh, outside of the car so you can see that there's got quite a bit of a, you know, a dollar finish basically now um, and same on the uh, the rear arches there as well and, and around the back and basically now we'll uh, we'll get some top coat mixed up and we'll uh, have another crack at it. Hopefully a bit less dusty. I've turned the fan off so we haven't got any air flying around in here. It is quite warm in the workshop. So let's see how we get on. Here it is. Um, I've just done the last paint on there now. A um, little bit more thinners in it and we've reduced that orange peel substantially. So we've got quite a nice shine on there now as well. So I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, I know I'm going to have to give it a bit of a buff off because we have got a little bit of overspray here and there. But um, generally speaking, I'm pretty pleased with that. So that's had its second coat on it. And um, yeah, I think, that'll, uh, I think that'll look quite tidy. So happy days. Next thing to do, um, I think we'll give it a bit of a buff off and then uh, we can start assembling some stuff. So that's pretty good. So, with that in mind, um, it's a great milestone to get to. We've got decent white paint on the car. Uh, I'm going to say Merry Christmas to you guys. Have a safe and uh, happy new year. And hopefully next year will bring us some uh, better days. Okay, all the best. Thanks for watching Otto's Garage.